Now I know exactly what you're thinking as soon as you see my face. Where the hell is Omniarch? Guys, unfortunately, he is not going to be able to upload for... I think he said for about another week or something. He's got something going on. And, well, he just asked for me to go ahead and fill in, you know, uh, to make a video for his channel while he is out. He's not gone uh, permanently or anything. And I'm not taking over this channel whatsoever. It's just that I'm uploading this one time. Or I don't know if this will be, if there will be a second time or a third time. But I will be uploading this time around just to go ahead and help him out because he won't be able to upload for the next week so i know some of you guys may not be competitive players some of you guys might just be pub stars i don't know what it is that you guys do but today i am going to be showing you guys effective ways on using overdrive and like at first you're gonna think like what the what the hell is this video like it's just overdrive you just run faster well there's a lot of things that people don't think about when they run overdrive that can actually be super beneficial to them now first off one of the things that you clearly see in search and destroy is as soon as someone gets overdrive they try to rush the the enemy spawn or try to get at them as quick as they can with overdrive and like while that is somewhat of a strategy to use that is something that i don't really recommend all the way when using overdrive in this gameplay that you guys are seeing which is my gameplay you will be seeing that almost every time i get overdrive i constantly just I just use it right then and there for more aggressive play. I can push out the enemies further. I can get to them faster and get to those gunfights. And obviously, it's timing that they don't expect. So I'm able to get up in their face. And I can go ahead and take advantage of the fact that they don't expect me there. And one thing that you, know, you can use Overdrive for, which a lot of people don't necessarily tend to focus on, is like the movement system that it can bring forth whenever you are using it let me explain right quick so right here you guys are seeing me play advanced warfare and look at how it looks like whenever i dash to the right and to the left you guys clearly see that it's just a quick dash right and left you guys know how advanced warfare works now if you look at this gameplay of black ops 3 Notice how it is whenever I overdrive to the right or to the left or even backwards. It's very similar to the style of Advanced Warfare. And it's very fast paced, much faster paced than what Black Ops 3 is already being played at. Now we all know that Advanced Warfare is faster paced than Black Ops 3. But whenever you're bringing Overdrive into the, into the mix... You can use this for so many different situations to avoid gunfights or to get yourself into some gunfights that you wouldn't even think about being able to do. So right now, I'll go ahead and show you guys some clips with my commentary over it on how you can use Overdrive in a weird way, but it's effective. No one has, like, this This doesn't happen. Not a lot of people know about this, and it's like... You hear the casters in the COD World League say like, hey, Overdrive would be such a much best, better specialist if, you know, A, teams would use it at more effective times than just in the beginning of the rounds of Search and Destroy. And of course, obviously for like game modes like Uplink and CTF, the Overdrive is a godlike specialist. So it just depends. And let me, here show, let me show you guys examples in my gameplay on how I've used it competitively. So as you guys can see here, I successfully get Overdrive already ready to use i start overlooking the enemy base with a sniper i am running an overkill sniper vmp class and i'm being cautious here because i know that the bomb was down there probably overlooking it as soon as i pick it up i notice one over there at their base so i'm like okay i have to try and make something work out from here try to go ahead and hover around see if i can find someone and once i successfully find this guy i kill him turn around use overdrive and i'm able to kill the second guy here as you guys can tell it's nothing fancy i just get a quick kill with my vmp and i go ahead and overdrive my intention was to catch up with my teammate but he ended up getting the ball taken away and look at what i do i just use overdrive to quickly skid backwards twice and kill the other two players this is where it becomes a little bit game changing so i'm in a 1v2 situation here on search and destroy here's a better bit of an example i'm thinking that they're gonna have to plant they successfully are planning i overdrive to juke out the guy that was on the other side of the bar and go ahead and quickly kill oh, there him. it is guys those are more effective ways that you can use overdrive in order to better your game it is unexpected unpredictable and of course it just 
really speeds up the pace of the game. I have successfully turned on players before. I don't have footage of it, but it is very much possible with overdrive. And of course, with how fast you're moving, you can definitely jetpack the crap out of someone with it. And it's, it's just it's such a great feeling. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating, guys. Make sure to go ahead and send your support over to Omniarch, whatever it is that he is going through. And uh, yeah, just hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys learned something new. And yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video, hopefully.